Hey everybody, my name is Michelle. I'm a volunteer here at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center and this is Navi. Uh, we are doing our weekly wolf blog and we had a question on um, our uh, Facebook page about if wolves change colors. So I'm here with Navi today because he is a great example of wolves changing colors. Now Navi, he's a timber wolf. He's a black phase timber wolf, but you can see he's got a lot of white on him, especially around his muzzle. Now this isn't because he's old. Um, dogs usually, they, they start to get older and they, they'll gray out because of that. Um, but Navi is actually only five years old, so he's not an old guy at all. But this is something that's really common with black phase wolves and wolf dogs is that they start to gray out and change to different colors. So Navi is never going to be like completely gray as in um, Kikoa or Sakara. However, he is going to gray out very significantly. Um, some of the other black phase animals, um, especially animals coming from like the British Columbian area like Kenai, they actually, as they get older, become almost completely white. Um, Sabin, one of our previous animals that we had here, he was one of the best examples of that, um, where he was really dark black when he was a baby. And then as he got older, he turned almost pure white. So even if they do change to be white when they are older, they'd still be considered a black phase animal. So what's kind of surprising that a lot of people don't know is that all wolves regardless of species, are born very, very dark in color, even arctic wolves. Um, arctic wolves are born almost black, but they do start to change color. Um, as they are a couple of weeks old, they'll be a color a lot like Tala, the little girl right behind me. And then as they age even more, they turn almost a pure white color. Um, so Akela and Shunka are great examples of that, of how they turned um, colors. And really fun news, I know I mentioned it previously before, but we are going to be getting some puppies this year, and they're due here in just a couple days, and they are arctic wolves. Now, arctic wolves are always born later than timber wolves, so generally timber wolves would have already been born by now, but the arctic wolves are just now being born. So we are going to get a baby, maybe two, and when we start posting pictures of them and videos of them, you're going to see that they're almost tall as color. But as the year proceeds and progresses, they're going to be almost pure white at the end of the year. So it's going to be a really great experience um, for you to see that. Now wolves don't change colors during the season. Sometimes it might appear that they do. Navi is going to be a kind of a dirty dark gray in the summertime um, and that's just because it's only his guard hairs that you see. They don't have that thick undercoat and actually um, the thick undercoat is still falling out right now and that's all of that. So um, you're going to see them starting to look really uh, scrappy here pretty soon. So that was our weekly wolf blog. I encourage everybody to share the videos. Facebook unfortunately has been limiting our posts. So where we are used to seeing a lot of people come on our page and a lot of traffic there, um, now we're seeing maybe about 200 people seeing our videos. So feel free to like, comment, and share on this video. Uh, and please definitely leave your comments for what questions you might have because we're always looking to answer more questions about our wolves and wolves in the wild as well or any general wildlife questions. And once again, my name is Michelle and this was our weekly wolf blog.